I had told you guys we were on to something a little bit different and that was going to be a very authentic Cajun video. Um, I just recently invested in some crawfish traps. Uh, what you see behind me are the pillow traps. Uh, I went by a few of them from a guy out um, here local and uh, figured I'd give it a go. Uh, now this is just this is just going to be recreational um, type of crawfish. I'm not trying to sell these. I'm not trying to do whatever. I'm just trying to catch a few crawfish for us to eat and hopefully enjoy this weekend. Uh, it is Friday afternoon. I'm going to set them out now. Um, we're actually going out in the Chafalaya Basin. Uh, it's all public land and everything like that. But we're going to set them out this afternoon and I will be rechecking them Sunday morning. So I'm going to give it about a day and a half to two days soak. Uh, right here I have try to let them defrost. I have some pogey that I'm using for bait and I have also some dry bait which is just basically hardened up fish meal um, that dissolves once it hits the water so we we'll load everything up in the truck we're gonna head out and we're gonna get on to moving in the Atchafalaya Basin stay tuned all right so finally thank the Lord we found a spot we rode around for a good hour which I didn't want to waste time doing but finally made it to the spot and finally found some area where not everybody's got their flagging, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. But we're gonna go ahead and just bait this one trap and I'm gonna uh, hurry up and try to bait all the other ones. But simple little pillow trap, we finally expanded it so it's not flat anymore. Just gonna take this open on this open ridge. I'm gonna move that one, put that one in front. We're gonna take the hard bait, which is the little pellets. Put about one and a half of them in there, which will, yeah, one for good extra. Then we're gonna take this pogey, which stinks to high heaven. We're gonna break it in half. Yeah. That'll leave a nightmare smell in your nose. I forgot my clamps back of the truck, so we're just gonna go ahead and fold the top of the trap so the crawfish don't get back out and we're going to go ahead and sink this in the water oh that's deep that'd be good I do believe the water is going to come down so um, that'll leave a little bit of air for them crawfish to climb up All right, number uno set. Gonna take my flagging so that nobody else, or nobody else hopefully, checks my trap. And we're just gonna mark our tree. And voila, simple as that, got flagging, got the crawfish trap. I got a ton of these to run, so I'm gonna go show you guys how to set up one and I'm gonna set up the rest real quick. Alright guys, we have made it back. It has been two days since I put my traps out. I'm not that confident in what they're gonna do. Um, this is my first time ever setting out crawfish traps, so we'll see what happens. We're pulling up to the first one here shortly. And uh, hopefully I can get the first time. It's our first time beginners luck on these uh, crawfish, so we'll see. Not a good start. 
please. Something. Just something. We got two. <laughs> no, three. Oh boy. I said three pounds. Let me pop this. soon to start putting traps. I think they're going to do better as we get more, especially back there where I put them on the So, we're going to find out, I'll tell you that much. We're going to go by beating records here. If we can get more crawfish does than left trap, we'll be alright. Which we did not. <sighs> we got one. Nickel and diamond here is what we're doing. Come on, little buddy. Come on, little buddy. Oh, wait. That little bluegill in the trap. Look how purple he is. Let him go. Hey, little buddy. Maybe that'll be good karma, right? For the rest of the traps. Please, 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 please. We got three. Oh, we got four. Better than the last one. We get more and more crawfish as we uh, get to the bottom. I mean, by no means is this what I expected to catch, but um, it is what it is. We gotta take what we got. Race to the exit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is not what we wanted, but it's what we gotta take. Let's see. Especially when we're getting them lilies back there. A little bit better. About six crawfish in there, seven crawfish, something like that. We almost got enough for uh, a cat to eat. Alright. I'll collect all of mine. Alright. Oh, we're getting there, kind of, sort of. Still not what I want, but. Is what it is, and we'll take what we get. All right, let's see. Gotta cut this before I can't pick it up. It's shallow, but well, the string's not long. It's a nice size. There's only three of them, or four of them, but they're good size. No, there's well, like six of them in there again. Oh, we're getting there. We're going to make an A2 failure, I swear. Come on, let crawfish. starting to get into these lilies now as you can tell literally like everywhere around us in lilies and uh 
these are the ones I was hoping I would produce. If they don't, well, we wouldn't produce it anyway, so. Fish, but there's some decent sized ones. For what it is, we're not catching tiny, tiny crawfish, so that's a, a plus, I guess, if you want to put a plus side on any of this. I mean, they're not even. I mean, I know I should probably let them sit a little bit longer, but they're not even. You can see the fish I put in there. They're not even touching the bait, to be honest with you. Um, so, I don't know. There's actually four crawfish in there. Still not. Oh, that's frustrating. But I can't expect much more for my first time, so we'll leave it at that. Get out. It's difficult. Alright. Just pick this little bad boy up. Put him in the bucket with his few friends and move on to the next one. Oh. I'm just waiting for something to boost my confidence way up. At least one of these traps just boost my confidence, please. I need a confidence booster. You didn't do it. Two crawfish in here, not my confidence booster. Ugh. Saving grace, could there be five pounds? No, there's not. Give me that one treat. Now, we got one for sure. They got two. Incredible. Incredible. Oh, 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 10 pounds. No crawfish, no crawfish. Well. I don't know. Tell you what, crawfishing ain't my forte. I don't know what my forte is there. We're gonna figure it out eventually. about it. Well, that uh, it didn't quite turn out like I wanted to be honest. Um, what did make me feel a little bit better though about <laughs> the lack of crawfish that we're catching, it is super, super, super early in the season right now. A lot of craw fishermen um, aren't even putting out their traps right now. In fact, the guy I bought my traps from, he even told me, he's like, don't get discouraged. Uh, he's like, it's super early. He's like, I don't even have my traps set out right now. The only people who are actually trapping right now is the commercial, commercial like the big time craw fishing type people um, who put out thousands of traps. Um, so I told him what I caught, you know, I said I caught about a pound of crawfish for the 15 traps I had. He said, that's on par for this time of year. He's like, don't get discouraged, come back when the temperatures start to rise. So I think I'm going to put the crawfish traps to the side and maybe come back around the beginning of March when it starts to warm back up here in Louisiana. And hopefully we can fill them up a little bit more than what we're doing now. So like I said, it was something a little new. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, but I think I'm going to get back to duck hunting and possibly fishing when we do get some of those warmer uh, days here in the winter. A big cold front is coming. So hopefully some ducks are running. I might even have to take off work to actually hit up a, a duck hunt once that front blows through and it gets into the low 30. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed something new. I'll definitely bring it back uh, once the temperatures get warmer. But then you got to come back for another episode of Louisiana Outdoorsman.